In these problems, we're being given some radicals, and we're being asked to write them in exponential form. And what you get when you do that is you get fractional exponents. So the thing to know here is that if you have, let's say, the square root of x, that is x to the 1 half power. If you had the cube root of x, that would be x to the 1 third power. And if you had, oh, the cube root of x squared, what happens here is that the root becomes the denominator of your fraction, just like it did up here, and the exponent becomes the numerator. So this would actually be x to the 2 thirds, exponent root. So in this first one, it says write the square root of 14z in exponential form. So that's going to be this to the 1 half power. So 14z, and we'll put parentheses around here so they know we're raising the whole thing to the 1 half power. That is uh, the square root of 14z. All right, let's look at the next one. Express using fractional exponents. This is the cube root of k, so that's simply going to be k to the 1 third power. And finally, we have the ninth root of h to the seventh. Now remember, the root is your denominator, the power is your numerator, so this is just h to the 7 ninths power. And that's really all there is to converting radicals into fractional exponents.